Hi there, good magical Monday morning everybody! I'm doing take three because some reason my microphone has been totally messed up. I'm not sure what was wrong, so I hope you all can hear me now. So are you having the best day ever? Sure, because you woke up this morning, right? Well, I am coming to you this morning, uh, just getting finished with my routine earlier. I was up a little bit before seven, slept in a little bit this morning, but it's all good because it's all happy. So some of you have requested and had, have asked, what is your morning routine, Lynette? Let us know. Well, here is my morning routine, and breakfast can be changed um, however you want to, as long as it's organic. But here's how I start my day. I get up, I do my stretches, and I thank God for waking me up in the morning because it's so magical, and it's just going to be a great day, and I don't have any issues getting up and getting out of bed. So thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome. And then I go and I have my prayer and my meditation work and my affirmations. So I go into a quiet place for 30 minutes to an hour. Good morning, everybody. Hey, babe. How are you? So anyway, I go into my prayer work and I talk about God's creative power. Well, I don't talk about it, but I use this as my help meet. So thank you very much, Jonathan, for letting me borrow your book. I really appreciate it. This is just a small little help meet that I use to get my mindset in the Word of God and get my happy on because remember, good morning, hey Hussein, how are you my friend? Cannot wait to meet you in person and I love your journeys by the way, so keep up the amazing abundance Hussein, love you much. So I go and I have my talks with God, I have my affirmations because remember, every morning we all have a choice, I have a choice, no matter what's going on in our life, we can wake up, we can choose to be happy or don't choose one at all. So no matter what's going on in my life, I go in and I have my talk with God, I have my prayer, and this gets me into my happy place and just a restful, peaceful state of mind all day. And what I've also been using and studying on is The Golden Stairway to Heaven. This is a book that is very near and dear to me because my dad wrote it. Mm, I love you, Dad, and I miss you so much, but I know that you're right here with me every single day. So I've been doing a lot of reading in this. By the way, this is the only circulation. So for those of you that would like to know what this book is about, God's Golden Plan, or God's Stairway to Heaven, or God's Plan of Salvation, whatever you want to call it. He had two titles for this. He put these in circulation, and he did not sell them. He gave them away. For those of you that do not know it, my dad was a very quiet missionary who traveled all around the nation and around the world, giving out his books and spreading the Word of God. So I've been doing a lot of studying on this and getting to know more chapters in the Bible that I've read, of course, but this really helps me out. So I will have this in circulation by next year. I don't know what month, but I'll have this in circulation again, not for sale, but to give away just as my dad gave away. So I use these two books and, of course, the Bible to help me get my happy on and my spiritual journey going on and my talk with God, just thanking him and asking him to help me through each and every day. So I get up to get refreshed, rejuvenated, and revived and restored. So that's what I do when I first wake up in the mornings. And then when I'm finished with that, well, after I'm finished with that, I drink my apple cider vinegar with eight ounces of water. So apple cider vinegar with the mother. If you can see that, make sure that it is organic and it does have the mother. And you can see how yucky it looks. It looks like really like a really murky vinegar because it's not white and clear. Well, it's not supposed to be because it's very good for you. The mother has the living bacteria in it, the live good bacteria and the good probiotics in there. It's very good for acid reflux. It's good for cleansing the gut. It's very good for repairing a lot of damage that has gone on inside your body because of the prebiotics and the probiotics. And the mother has a plethora of living good bacteria that is very good to get out the bad bacteria that you may have consumed throughout the uh, day before. So drink a glass of this up on awaking or after you do your affirmations and meditation. I already drank mine this morning, but I'm having another little glass just to show you. Put about two tablespoonfuls of apple cider vinegar into eight to 10 ounces of water daily. You can mix it, you can put honey in there to knock off the tartness or the potency of the apple cider vinegar and you can also add some cinnamon in there if you want to but it's very good for hair skin and nails and speaking of hair you can find a lot of information on my website and in chapter 14 about Lynette's skincare routine and skincare secrets you can use it for a rinse to go on your hair like once a week if you want to it really helps to nourish and and regenerate those cells in your hair so look all of that up but upon awaking or if you do your meditation do your apple cider vinegar 
And then after I've finished with my meditations and affirmation, I always drink my fresh greens. I've already made it up this morning. Fresh greens by Fresh Products. They are an amazing company with a very pure concept. These are non-irradiated, raw, living greens. It has all the greens that you can think of. Alfalfa grass, wheat grass, oat grass, barley grass, cabbage, kale, spinach, and there's even more. And they're totally raw, non-irradiated, and they are so good for you because they're great for on the go. They're great for putting in smoothies and apple juice and ice cream, pancakes. I have a lot of recipes on my website at fuelforthebody.org. So you want to find those recipes that you can sneak the greens in. But actually, kids love these. They are amazing and they really like them when you mix them with apple juice. So get your fresh greens on every morning to get your body in an alkalized state. These are one of the purest greens on the planet that will really help to get your body in an alkalized state much faster. So you wanna make sure that you have some sort of greens, especially for those of you that don't eat your veggies and don't eat your salads. Get your fresh on, come get fresh with me. Yay, awesome. And then whenever I add, anytime I drink water, I always drink purified water. That is very important because of the contamination that we have obviously around the world and in our own United States. We have chlorine contamination, we have fluoride contamination, so we always want to make sure we have a purifier to purify the water. But we also want some added minerals, which is fulvic acid, fulvic minerals. These are minerals from humic ore that is found in the earth from earth elements such as uh, dirt, clay, rocks and it has over 60 trace minerals that is great for cleansing the gut it is great for leaky gut syndrome because you want to get your cells nourished obviously inside on a cellular level and so these mixed in with water is going to help your cells rejuvenate and it's going to help prevent leaky gut syndrome hello nancy what's up good morning so it's going to help prevent that leaky gut syndrome and it's also going to repair your gut um, you can do either one of these. I like to use them both simultaneously, one one day and one another day. But for the cell rebalancer, what I like to do, because they are so potent and they are so good, if you have any blemishes or if you need to pick me up in the morning, yeah, it looks like kind of ugly. Not really, but you can put it actually on your face. You can put it on your skin to absorb and dissolve any blemishes and just give your cells another pick me up. Pick me up right out of bed is what you can do. And it's not potent it doesn't sting at all it's very good because remember what I preach is if you can't eat it don't put it on your skin because your skin is the largest organ so whenever you are drinking your water throughout the day always add fulvic minerals you can find these at amicaorganics.com and we'll have that on a comment here so thank you all for chiming in for that so now we've got our meditation our prayer work and affirmations that I do each and every morning drinking my apple cider vinegar with the mother Drinking my fresh greens, and I, and I always drink my green tea or my herbal teas. I always have a cup of hot tea throughout the day. I always have that, incorporate that into my daily morning routine as well. And so after I'm done with that, then I get up and I do my stretches. I do Pilates, I do yoga, and I do my own free weights. It doesn't take very much, anywhere from three to five to 10 pounds, whatever you're comfortable with. And I do my bouncy ball and I just use a lot of my body weight that my different trainers have taught me. So I don't go to the gym, but if you want to go to the gym, by all means, get up, get out and go to the gym. Absolutely. So go to the gym and get your exercise on. But if not, stay at your house and you can get just as much exercise. Anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes is all it takes. So get up and get moving and get your blood circulating and your blood flowing and all of your cells rejuvenated with great stretches and exercises. And it doesn't take much at all. Then when you're finished with that, have a nourishing, amazing breakfast. And as you have seen, Liana Warner Gray, the author of The Earth Diet, which by the way, you can find a lot of recipes in The Earth Diet, theearthdiet.com. And you can get some amazing jump starts on how to eat healthy and cook healthy or uncook healthy. But I do every other day or every day I have an egg. I have a fresh farm egg or a backyard chicken egg. As you know, I have my cottage and I have my backyard chickens, but I'm traveling all over the nation now for the next six months, so I do not have the cottage any longer. So I gave up my backyard chickens, Wah! but I will have them back whenever we build our Hobbit home for our next year's project. So stay tuned for that, okay? But I do have my organic egg. Um, I have them scrambled, I have them in an egg omelet, I have them fried, and I'll put, if I have it fried, I'll put it on a piece of sprouted grain bread toast. 
so it doesn't take much at all or you can boil some eggs up for the week ahead of time and that way you'll have some boiled eggs ready to grab and go on the go whenever you're very fast paced so eat a boiled egg but that is what I eat and sometimes if I don't feel like an egg in the morning then I'll have a smoothie or I'll have a pancake or I'll eat muffins there's different things that we can change up and you can find all those recipes and more on my website at fuelforthebody.org speaking of fuel for the body if you have not got your copy of fuel for the body you should pick it up right away those of you that have thank you so much because in chapter seven and eight you will find the benefits of apple cider vinegar you will find fresh greens you will find the hemp seed you will find everything that I'm talking about to get your body jump started so whether you want to gain weight lose weight or just maintain weight fuel for the body will help you do just that it will help you understand the food industry and what's going on with it it will help you understand why you need to transition to pure organic foods because you want to nourish your body and take care of your temple right right because that's the only place that we have to live hey Charles long time no see tell everybody I said hello back in Memphis Mwah. so anyway um, nourishing our bodies to take care of our temple as God commanded us and speaking of which as I'm doing my prayer work and meditation with the Bible and my little help meets here hey Jen what's up nice to see you um, as I'm contemplating for my Christian friends it says Lynette God made everything clean Jesus made everything clean for us so we can eat anything that we want now I'm not coming to you preaching this morning but I just wanted to give you a thought to ponder yes he may have made everything clean however did he intend on us to eat those toxic pesticides, those herbicides, those contaminating poisons? I do not believe that he did. So therefore, that was not meant for our body. Glyphosate, Roundup, herbicides, pesticides, all the toxic poisons that they put upon our food, that man made our food. God made everything clean from the plants to the animals that we should get from the goodness of the real earth not fake foods that was not meant for human consumption like man-made cheese that's almost wax man-made butter that's almost nickel if you look at my book fuel for the body you'll see that in chapters 8 and 9 actually 9 and 10 is what it is I believe and you'll find out how butter is made or how margarine was made and and what all of that stuff so definitely pick up your copy of that so to answer your question God made everything clean well just remember how sick everybody is in America we're the most overfed and undernourished country around we have all of this food but it's all fake food and faux foods and we wonder why we're getting sick time after time after time it's because we're not eating and taking care of our temples and nourishing our temples with good nutrition that he intended on us to do but anyway I'm not preaching I just wanted to give you all my routine so I get up in the morning I do my affirmations confirmations and prayer work in the morning thanking God and then I finish up with my fresh greens I have my apple cider vinegar upon arising and then I do my stretches my Pilates my yoga my own body weight using weights whatever I decide to do as long as I'm moving and getting some kind of exercises and as you all know I suck on push-ups but I do other things too so anyway I do that and then I get up and I get my morning going because we all have a choice when we wake up right well we have two choices we can choose to be happy and what's the second one don't choose one at all yeah hello there how's everybody doing awesome Ooh, who's on here Jen what's up so anyway I choose to be happy no matter what's going on in our life no matter how down that we may seem we always have that choice how are we going to protrude forward how are we going to move forward by being happy so get your happy on get up and get your smiles going and get your motivation get your apple cider vinegar your fresh greens and your fulvic minerals and pick up your copy of fuel for the body and then ask for God's plan of salvation and I will give that to you next year so you all have an amazing day and always remember you are amazing you are awesome you are beautiful as always and you are loved from me to you have the most blessed day ever